In New Jersey's capital city, a sense of progress and professionalism at the first city council meeting since Trenton's runoff elections. For years, the old council and Mayor Reed Gossiara were at odds, and the tone of the city council meetings was unpleasant, to say the least. New council members say the city's image and economy was hurt by infighting, and they're ready to make changes and get things done. Ted Goldberg has our report. The first Trenton City Council meeting since the runoff elections sounded like, well, a city council meeting. Councilman Williams? Yes. And Council President Frisbee? Yes. Motion carried. The new city council is almost a completely new cast of characters, and that could mean a lot less drama than the previous city council. They want to solve problems, they want to work together, and they want to do whatever's best for the uh, city's future. I um, can't say that about the last council. Outbursts like that were part of the reason why so many newcomers ran for city council in Trenton. First time office holders now sit in six of those seven seats. Jennifer Williams won by a single vote. Definitely hurt our city's image. It was embarrassing to everyone. One of the key issues actually uh, going door to door speaking with voters was can you get along with other people? I felt like our city was at a standstill and I can't keep complaining about it if you don't try to be the change that we need to see. Yasminelli Gonzalez says political dysfunction was more than embarrassing for Trenton. It was costly. We had investors that didn't want to come into the city. We have businesses that don't want to come into the city that is affecting us as a whole because they were afraid to bring forth things to council. Let's get some uh, investors here into the city. Let's get some properties on the tax roll. Let's help our residents to become homeowners, right? Crystal Feliciano has outlined an ambitious agenda for her first term, just like her fellow newcomers. I want to work on having sustainable and significant change, right? A lot of people talk about a lot of things, but what can we dive into? Reducing poverty, bringing jobs into the city, uh, making the North Ward and our entire city a healthier, more livable place. Uh, we have a lot of issues with environmental justice. We have issues of economics. Uh, we have clean, just clean drinking water issues. I was born here, I grew up here, and we've had so many problems uh, for decades, uh, and I'd be able to have an opportunity to help solve them. People who closely follow Trenton politics are hopeful that its city council has turned a corner with less political infighting and fewer struggles to do basic things like pass a budget. You have some amazing individuals who have a track record of community work and service before they even ran for political office. So I'm excited about where the council is and where it's going to go. I think that people are more likely to make sure that they're uh, operating like adults and uh, I think people are more, we've seen what happens when we don't act correctly. And I think that people are more uh, cognizant of the eyes that are upon them. The new council has already approved permits for two cannabis dispensaries in Trenton. That's two more than the previous council. And Mayor Reed Gashora says that's not a coincidence. The previous council just didn't want to see any kind of uh, movement. A lot of it was aimed for me. This is going to be an economic en engine, uh, going to bring jobs, and, and, uh, and we hope the neighborhoods will reverberate with other economic development. The mayor's office says six more dispensaries could be approved in the near future. It's a productive start for the new council, but it's still very early, and skeptical citizens have a right to wait and see if this progress lasts. In Trenton, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.